Hello, hello, and welcome to 13 Signs Tarot. My name is Harley, and this is going to be a pick a card about who cannot stop thinking about you, okay? So this pick a card is going to be centered around who's thinking about you constantly and what are they thinking about. Um, I feel like the natural progression of this reading is what's the next conversation you're going to have. Um, so linked below is a pick a card that is ready for instant access. It is what is your next conversation with them? And this isn't just going to be like your next, you know, uh, typical conversation high and by. No, I'm going to look into your next serious conversation with your person. So let's say you're wondering how the talk of some sort would go, whatever the talk is to your situation. We're going to check that out in that um pick a card so it is linked below for instant access if you want it please check it out but we are going to go ahead and get into who is thinking about you and who can't and you know who's who can't stop thinking about you and what are they thinking okay so for the first pile we have this smoky quartz uh i forgot what the hell this is called right now but it's a stone it's it's just totally escaped me uh what this is called i know what it is and you guys are gonna be like oh duh harley it's this in the comments i know what it is but we'll just say this smoky quartz tower looking thing and then we have a clear quartz as the second pile and then we have black tourmaline as the third pile okay so you can go ahead and choose your pile and i will let you guys go ahead and choose Okay, so if you need more time, please go ahead and pause the video. I want to let you guys know in advance, I am in Vegas and I'm not where I currently live. You know, I'm not in my house, so I don't really know what noises might pop up. So just letting you guys know ahead of time, okay? So Smoky, Smoky Quartz Pile 1, if you want to check out your next conversation with this person, your next serious conversation with this person, there is a link below in case you missed the introduction for instant access. You can check that out, okay? So let's see who's thinking about you, Pile 1. So we have the Two of Swords. You could be dealing with a Libra, someone who has a moon in Libra. We have the Four of Cups. All right, interesting. Cancer. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo. And we have the world. So Capricorn, this also could be a fucus. A fucus is November 29th to December 17th. We have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio as well. So the person who is thinking about you, some of you, this is someone you currently work with. Like this could have been a work romance gone wrong, so to speak. And maybe you haven't heard from this person, but they have to see you on a daily basis. For others of you, I really get that this person is someone who works, a, like, I don't know, I'm getting a service job with this Eight of Pentacles, or they they work some sort of consistent job that they do every single day, you know, repetitively in a sense. Um, they might work with their hands. I'm getting a mechanic. Um, they could be in the service industry. That could be military service, whatever it is. But this person constantly thinks about you at work. This is definitely like a workaholic energy. And what are they thinking about? They're thinking about reaching out to you. So that's why it's interesting. Uh, I really feel the next progression is what's the conversation going to be? Because this person already is showing me that they're thinking about reaching out to you. The Four of Cups is my thinking about what I'm going to say, you know, why I'm going to say it, how the conversation might go. There's a lot of like going over in their head how the conversation is going to go with you. Um, the main thing that I'm getting from this person, though, is although they want to come back into your life, the reason why this person wants to come back into your life is to to it's like a make or break situation. I want to explain this. It's like basically they want to know if the relationship is salvageable and therefore you, got, you guys can move into the next phase or if it's something that they totally need to give up on. With the two of swords here, they're not really sure if it's a relationship that can move forward. Now, of course, this person could be the cause of why you two are not communicating because I really feel for a lot of you, this is someone you're not talking to. Even if it's only been four months, two weeks. Some of you may have been eight years. I don't know who you're reading for. But um, I feel like they might be the reason why. Maybe through their indecisiveness, they might have someone else. Whatever the case may be, this person wants some form of closure. And I don't really like to use like yoda type of speech when you know like they're all like oh closure and don't know this is like are we is is we or is we ain't <laughs> as i like to say in my day-to-day -day when i'm not trying to be all professional is you or is you not okay um, <laughs> is this happening or is it not happening i know it's like i know people who like are grammar nazis cannot stand that i just did that but i did okay so we have y'all and these scorpios definitely could be a scorpio not surprised about that and then we have water your garden nourishment body care tender rest this person avoids 
uh, they, they work a lot to avoid thinking about you, but it doesn't work. Okay, so this is someone where the situation was left open-ended. There is a lack of closure in this situation straight up. Like they don't know where you stand. They don't know where, like maybe this was a blow up, an argument and it just stopped. Or, you know, they're wondering if there is a shot at a second chance, okay? For, so for a lot of you, this is an open-ended relationship that has not gotten closure in some way or a solution, resolution in some way in this person's eyes, okay? So this is someone who avoids taking time out to rest. I feel like if this person takes a nice long bath or a nice long shower, their mind automatically starts to wander to you. So their solution was to start being a workaholic or maybe they were already a workaholic, but it's not working. They All they can do is think about you with the two of swords here. All right. And they know eventually they're going to have to reach out. Um, they're going to burn this out with the world card. I feel like there is going to be this. It's going to go one way or the other. Right. So let's see, you know, what is going to happen with this person that's thinking about you. We have the knight of wands. Oh, yeah. They're definitely going to make a move. The four of wands. Some of you guys are definitely going to be intimate with this person again. I really wish that this was an 18 plus because when I see the knight of wands and the four of wands, I know that's a good recipe for a great 18 plus reading. But I have, I do have some 18 plus readings if you haven't checked them out. And you can also join my Patreon. I post everything 18 plus on that Patreon. Instead of you guys buying the single videos, you can just get on my Patreon and everything 18 plus that I post goes on there. Okay, so pretty much all the extendeds are going to be like 18 plus in a sense. Um, of course, the matching pick a card to this is not an extended, but you get my drift. They are definitely going to reach out. This person is going to make a move. You're not going to have to do anything. I really don't see you reaching out to this person. They will reach out to you. Some of you, it's going to be in the four, in four days. Wow, a lot of Virgo energy here. Two Virgo cards in the same position. This person could be a Virgo. They're not going to, you know, the crazy thing is they're actually going to like gun for you, like gun it. They're going to come for you like straight to the, like straight to the point, nine of wands, four of wands, but it's actually going to be after a lot of reflection. So it, it might seem like they didn't think this out, but they have been thinking about this. Um, they are going to take the time to come at you with a different energy. Like they've reflected upon whatever is keeping you two apart or whatever stopped you two from talking. So we have the 10 of swords. Wow. So yeah, some of you guys are not going to take this person back. Uh, with the Ten of Swords here, I feel like some of you guys might decide that you want to end this relationship with this person. Um, if you if the relationship ends, I'll be honest, it's because you decided to, pile number one. It's not this person. And the reason why I'm getting at it is the Ten of Swords. Th they do not want this to be over with. This could be someone that you guys don't want back. I apologize if it is. Uh, the signs, like I said, uh, I'll add more. I see Sagittarius here now, Aries, and Gemini. So... Uh, could be any of the signs that I named throughout this reading, but this could be someone that you guys actually don't want back. So this is someone who's going to shoot their shot. They feel like they have nothing to lose at this point other than, you know, the final blow here with the Ten of Swords. So um, I'm very interested to see how the conversation is going to go, because if this is somebody you guys are turning down because they were, you know, they were, you know, less than good to you and we'll just use that lightly then i'm kind of happy to see how you guys turn this person down if that's what you want okay with the ten of swords here i feel like this person might be revving up for a big finish and maybe some of you guys you guys wind up having sex with this person and then you're just like eh, you're, you're still not getting what you need from it or um you know you could feel that this person is still here only for a good time and not a long time Okay, it's it's up to you what you're gonna do. So it, I, I I'm interested to see what's gonna happen next. I don't believe this person is thinking about you sexually. I think this might just sort of happen, like you guys hook up or you guys reconnect in some sort of passionate way. Um, there's a lot of excitement and then there's a lot of reflection and then we have a conclusion here with the Ten of Swords. Now keep in mind the Ten of Swords does breed into the Ace of Swords, so that also could be. You know, we'll just see what happens in the uh, in the conversation. If you guys pick the same pile, we'll see if it if it coordinates because I'm interested to see how we get to this ten of swords point. But the person thinking about you guys is someone who's going to shoot their shot. Uh, they're trying to see if they can rev this back up, if they can re if they can revamp this, if they can rebirth this. But I don't know if they're going to be as successful with this ten of swords. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Paul One. I hope that this helped. Please like the video. Please comment and let me know how you feel about it in the uh, comments below. And you can also check out your next serious conversation with this person. Okay, see you later, Paul One. So pile two, we have the 
quartz, okay? So we have the regular quartz here. This is gonna be who cannot stop thinking about you. If you didn't check out the introduction, there is an instant access pick a card available below where you can check out your next serious conversation with this person and not your just, hey, how are you doing? No, an actual serious conversation. So if you wanna check that out, please do so in the description box, okay? So we have the two of cups, a person that can't stop thinking about you, okay? Some of you, you might already be in a relationship with this person. We have the death in reverse, wow. Okay, so some of you guys might be coming over for pile one. We have the two of wands, Aries. So, so far we have Cancer, Scorpio, Aries. And then we have the five of swords. Mm, this is somebody who wants to come back, but they're acting like they don't. This is a little different than pile one. So I would suggest not watching both of these piles because pile one's person is gonna risk it all. This person is wanting to risk it all. They feel like you're the perfect person for them with the two of cups, but they are prideful with the five of swords. Could be an Aquarius, okay? Um, this is someone who's not ready to move from where they are at. They are in a two of wands energy, meaning they could be, you know, in between two people, uh, two lifestyles, single, and then, you know, boot up. There's a lot of resisting this and a lot of, I think that Paul too, you probably ended things with this person. I just heard Capricorn. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn, um, a Taurus. You ended things with this person. So they're like, you know what? If they ended things with me, even though I want to revive this, even though I want to reconnect with this person and I feel like they're my perfect person with the two of cups, I'm not going to because they ended things with me. So obviously they're good. If they're good without me, then fine. It's actually self-sabotage because this person obviously cannot stop thinking about you. So it's not as easy as they're trying to make it out to seem, right? But that's where your person's energy kind of is, is trying to act like they're unbothered, so they actually probably don't like that they think about you so much because this is somebody who has a lot of pride. Um, some of you, this could be someone who lives long distance. I'm getting like, could be in a different country. Um, there could be some like fear too about moving. Some of you, if this person lives a long distance from you or something like that, they could have some fear about making a big change in their life. Um, so yeah, it's self-sabotage. Like my brother, for instance, I'll call him out. He'll probably never watch this, but whatever. He knows I tell him about himself. He's an Aquarius and he acts like he's all like, you know, he ain't got no, you know, he's he ain't got no hangups. He don't care what people think, but he has like stage fright like crazy. So he'll purposefully like avoid situations where, and he's a rapper, right? He'll avoid situations where he's in a, a like a lot of publicity or when he's getting like, it's large crowds. He doesn't, he doesn't see that. I, I see it. I've called it out on it, but that's kind of what this person is. They, they, they try to act like they're big and tough with this five of swords, but in reality, it's really fear. It's like, oh, I want to, it's like a security blanket. Like this person has some sort of security blanket. Like, no, I'm not letting go of my blanket. I know that this is a, a great connection and this is my person and I want them to come back. I want to start this over. I don't want them to be gone. I don't want this to end, uh, but I'm going to stay with my security blanket because it makes me feel good. Look at you guys. I can't make this up. So I never noticed it's in this card as all the time, all the times I've read tarot. Sorry, y'all don't want to look at my ugly broken nail, but look at this. Don't this look like a blanket? Why does it look like a blank? Oh my God, I'm done with these cards. I never noticed that. I never looked at that. <laughs> and I'm just like, don't, why does this man look like he got a blanket? That's your person. No, I'm gonna keep my blanket. Mm, they need to grow up. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, they miss you. I bet you they do. Mm -hmm. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. This is someone who feels you even when you're not there. Okay, this could be the infamous twin flame situation. This does look like two uh, twin embryos, right? In in um, in vitro or whatever that's, or, you know, in utero. I don't know why I said in vitro. Maybe some of, some of you guys are getting IVF or something. Maybe you might wind up getting IVF with this person. Or if you are, this is a good sign that maybe you, you know, maybe if you're trying to get pregnant. I don't know why I just said that, but in utero is what I meant. So maybe this is also symbolic for you two about to be in union. Maybe it is, you know, in utero metaphysically, right? Or, you know, whatever, not in, you know what the fuck I mean, right? All that spiritual mumbo jumbo. You guys are probably very close to union with your divine counterpart if you have one. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Like... But the what, say, what this is telling me is that your person's the runner, obviously, and in order for this connection to now work, they would have to be essentially the chaser because you're done chasing the ass, okay? They know this, but again, their pride, their lower self, their security, their comfort is to be an a-hole, okay? To be a stubborn a-hole, okay? 
So let's see uh, what is going to come of this situation. We have the Nine of Cups. Very selfish person. They love you, but they I see I see why you're going through what you're going through with this person, Paul, too. Very arrogant person as well. Very arrogant. Probably why I got Capricorn. They could be a Pisces, though. We have the Eight of Pentacles. That, yeah, that came out in Pile 1. Virgo. Eh, okay. Let me see. The Justice. So whatever they're holding on to, right, whatever the security blanket is, Spirit is about to, to rip that out your person's hand anyway with the justice. So some of you, this person could be married to someone else uh, or something like that. If they are married to a third party, the third party, sorry, pile number two, I'm not editing that. I'm sorry. Um, I forgot to mention I'm not home, so I'm using makeshift things right now. But anyway, um, yeah, this person could be married. Not that air coming on all loud, though. Um, this person could be married. If they're married, then they're going to be getting a divorce or something like that. I might have to turn that air off. And then we also have the Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Okay, so this person is definitely going to make their way into your life. You guys, the only thing that I will say with this person, I do feel strongly that this is someone you guys are going to wind up in a relationship because we have the Queen of Pentacles here. This person is very selfish and they are very um, arrogant, but they actually love you. And I'll be honest, I'm not saying that you guys are selfish and arrogant, but you guys have really increased your self-worth. Like you've really increased your self-worth. This is Oshun energy with the peacock here. So you guys have really increased your, your self-worth. So this person is going to have to put in the work to be in your life. Um, and that's what's happening right now is you're teaching this person that, hey, if you want me, you have to make the changes. Death in reverse could also mean that they're resisting a change. This is what we've been talking about. Them letting go of their security blanket. You're like, you're going to have to step up if you want to be with a woman like me or a man like me. Okay? You're going to have to step up. You know what I'm saying? This person, they know that. So they're going to, they're going to, I don't want to say, I almost said throw their hat in the ring. I don't know why I said that, but they're going to make themselves known to you for sure in their intentions. Um, a lot of you guys, I hate to say this, but this person does look like look at you like a trophy wife or like a trophy husband. Not in like a way. I do feel like this person loves you. And I, and I know this is like a slippery slope and people are going to be like, eh, whatever. Look, they do love you. But this person is someone who they might care about status or they might have some sort of status. And you you compliment them. Um, she matched my fly. Like I heard uh, like an independent woman. So that's what, that's what I'm getting Capricorn or Virgo from this person. You want someone who also count, counters your energy as well. You want like a King of Pentacles as well. So um, I feel like this is actually someone that this, it's going to work out with. I think that you probably don't like this person's ways, but a lot of you are not too... Y'all are tough yourselves, pal, too. Y'all are tough cookies as well. That's what I wanted to say. Like you guys are not you know, uh, y'all are not low hanging fruit. Okay. You guys have pretty high self-worth as well. Some people might even call you arrogant. Some people might even project their insecurities onto you because you, when you walk in, sit up straight. I don't give a fuck if I was late dinner with my man in the G5 is my idea of an update. What Nikki, Nikki dropping tomorrow. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know she ain't the queen of pentacles, but that's y'all energy. And if y'all don't think y'all have that boss energy, you do. And that's what's attracting this person. Maybe you didn't always have that, but that's the point of a divine counterpart is to make you realize who you always were. And I resonate with this because in cardomancy, my card is the queen of pentacles. Even though I'm the queen of wands, usually I'm the queen of pentacles in cardomancy. So I am a woman who's meant to know business, be a strong energy in business, very generous queen. Um, and someone who has their shit together. All right. So... I feel like this person is going to step it up. Whatever the security blanket is that they've been holding on to, Spirit is going to get rid of that for this person. They have no choice. It's almost like a tower is what I'm getting with this justice. I mean, maybe this person might even decide to make the changes on their own. But it does suggest that a karmic cycle is going to be ending for your person. So this is a really good omen, Paul, too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move into the extended where we're going to look into this person's next conversation with you, the next serious conversation. This is going to be really important for you, Paul, too, because I can already see that you two are going to be having very serious conversations with this Queen of Pentacles here, okay? You're going to be making this person put in the work, and they have no trouble doing that. I think this, this person actually likes that. They actually like having to work for you. They actually like feeling like you're too good for them. They, they like that. Um, this person might be used to getting everything handed to them. So I like this, Paul, too. I'm going to leave this here, and 
Um, yeah, make sure you check me out in the other reading. I, I think I said extended. I didn't mean to say extended. Check me out in the other pick a card where we're going to look at your next serious conversation with this person, okay? Bye, Pile 2. I hope you guys can hear me. I try to talk loud, all right? Pile 3, hold on really quick. I have to turn the air down. three sorry about that i had to turn the air off so you guys can hear me because it was not working out okay so pile three who can't stop thinking about you the black tourmaline so if you didn't check out the introduction please make sure to check out the instant access pick a card that is in the description box it is the next serious conversation that you're going to have with this person so we're going to be looking into the next serious conversation not just, you know, a high and by regular conversation. But if you have some sort of talk with this person, how is that going to go? Okay. So who can't stop thinking about you, Pile 3? We have the lovers. So that's obviously Gemini. Everybody knows that, right? Notorious card. Maybe you don't, but that's Gemini. The Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The Hangman in Reverse, Pisces. Okay. And the Eight of Swords, more Gemini energy. Some of you guys, this is a Gemini really strongly. I get that this is possibly someone that you left behind for sure. Um, could be a Gemini or Pisces. The Hangman is in reverse. Okay, so this could have been someone that you guys were very kind of similar to Pile 1 and Pile 2. But this is someone that you probably kind of waited on Pile 2 pile three like you waited for this person to get their shit together you gave this person time and effort and you had to eventually move on from them i feel like you eventually moved on from this, this person the hangman is in reverse so i feel like whatever you were waiting for this person has somehow released themselves from that but now they can't come back with the eight of swords because they made a mess with you. They've made some sort of mess. Like this is someone who can't come back to you because of the way that they acted. That's the difference between pile one and pile two. Pile one and pile two had no issue with returning into their person's life. Pile three, your person isn't not re like pile two, their person with pride, right? This is shame. Like this is someone who feels ashamed because of the way that they treated you. Some of you is something they said to you. Um, you're the queen of cups to this person. Um, you guys might want to go watch the reading that I just posted this morning. Um, it's called, uh, they want to be more vulnerable. The queen of cups was a big heavy hitter in that reading. But yeah, this is somebody who may have treated you really bad. Your cup is now closed to this person with the queen of cups. They still see you as this beautiful, angelic, sexy, um, empathic, psychic energy very nurturing loving person they see you and, and, and the, i'm getting like strong queen of wands off of these queen of cups like even though you are in the queen of cups energy now nurturing yourself you're very sexy like this person finds you very attractive um this is how they feel about you but now they feel shame i don't know why i'm getting shame and this person knows that you're very sensitive and i feel like this person knows that they hurt you as well okay so that's what i'm getting now with the lovers card here Normally, I would say that this person is in the third party for some of you that will apply. But honestly, this person feels like you are no longer available because they're in the hangman in reverse. I feel like this person might be single now. For a lot of you, they could have had a third party in the past, but now they're single. And now you are the one with the lovers. This is how they're thinking of you. So you could be the one who has someone else now. You've moved on to someone else. That could be another thing is this person feels like if, if you're happy with someone else, who are they to come back and try to ruin that because they, were, they weren't good to you or they didn't treat you, they didn't appreciate you. Something like that is coming through. We have messenger, we have serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. I swear if you guys aren't dealing with the Gemini, I'd be very surprised. But some of you, serious and messenger is giving me Gemini again. Um, some of you, this is someone that uh, is supposed to be on a spiritual path as well. They knew this as well. You were sent in this person's life to help them get on their spiritual path. path. And not only did they resist their path, they resisted you as well, resulting in hurting you and kind of turning their back on the divine. Some of you, this is a more Syrian person. You'll know Syrian people because Syrian people are not as sensitive as like Pleiadians. Um, 
So Syrians, they do have like knowledge of astrology, but they're very logical entities. So they might come off as people who don't have a lot of empathy. Um, I find kind of resonate with Sirius sometimes because I really highly resonate with dog energy and the, um, the Dogons. I heavily like because of the astrology, but I also resonate with the Pleiadian. So I'd be, I, I would be surprised if I wasn't a makeup of one of those two things. Maybe your person has a lot of Syrian energy. And I feel like you were sent to this person's life to give them some of that empathy that they were missing. Um, but they missed the ball. They dropped the ball. Okay, definitely a third party. We have definitely a third party. So some of you, it was a third party here. Others of you, I feel like this person's been wondering if you were in a relationship, like this person's been stalking your um, social media to find out if you're in a relationship or if you're dating someone else and they have found out that you are with someone. They have confirmed that. Maybe something you posted or they seen you posting with your new boo. There's something here where they realize that you are in a third party if that resonates. Um, but for a lot of you, like I said, it could have been a third party that broke you two up. The hangman in reverse though, it was really, I would clarify if I clarify for the other pals, but I don't want to because I didn't. But I really feel like this is telling me they're either they're out of that third party or they're realizing that that third party is not what they need to be in. Okay. They've had some sort of awakening with the hangman in reverse here. Okay. So we have the ace of cups. All right. How is this? What are they going to do next? This person who can't stop thinking about you. It's a lot of you. It's a water sign. We have the ace of cups. So all of the piles have reconciliation energy um, or someone who's trying to start something new. So I'm also getting drawn to the eye on this card. So some of you, this person's third eye is open now. Okay. Hangman in reverse. Nine of swords. Okay. There's, this person's very worried about you. We have the eight and the nine of swords here. Like this person has a lot of anxiety about you. And it's not like the other piles where it's like, Oh my God, I can't stop thinking. But this is like, oh my God, I lost the best person that ever happened to me. I lost them. I can't believe this. I'll never get them back. And again, this is another Gemini card, okay? Some of you, I'll be honest with you, you have two different people. Pile three always has some sort of weird eccentric energy. Three is a weird eccentric number in its own right. But some of you have like a strong Gemini presence and a strong water presence, moon or rising, right? But yeah, um, either way, some of you guys maybe have multiple people who can't stop thinking about you, right? Like, you know, the, you're the queen of cups, so not surprised. We have the king of pentacles, queen of wands. If you're in the queen of wands group and you're watching this goddamn reading, mind your business because I know y'all are laughing at me. Why though? I swear I picked these cards at random. I picked the cards at random, guys, and it's still stalking me. It's stalking me. Okay, I'm, I'm back, I'm back. All right, King of Pentacles. <sighs> so yeah, uh, this person's ready to be like a boss. They're ready to be the man that you need. If this is a man, I'm feeling strongly it is, could be a woman though. They're ready to be um, consistent. They're ready to be um, like committed is what I'm trying to get at. I, I, I was like, what is that C word? It's coming, committed. They're ready to be committed to you. All right, and we have the seven of swords. Okay, interesting. A lot of, yeah, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, what's the seven of swords here about? Okay, so right now, there is gonna be some avoidance of this. There is, this person is definitely coming back into your life because they can't avoid it. Um, the eight of swords, nine of swords. Right now, they are with the seven of swords. This person's being evasive. I wanna clarify this so bad. Um, Okay, pile three. They're just going to have to be mad at me because I have to clarify the seven of swords. What does this mean for pile three? Y'all just have to be mad. But the seven of swords as the last card is not helping me. Wow. Okay, the ten of cups. I didn't expect that. Some of you, this person has you. You have this person blocked. Okay, they might have you blocked. If they have you blocked, I feel like the third party blocked you. Or the third party made this person block you. I don't feel like this person wanted to block you. But maybe they do have you blocked. If this is somebody who has you blocked, pile three, psh. Y'all know how I feel about people blocking me. I can block you all day, but don't block me. I don't care if people say that's narcissistic, what the fuck ever. I feel like when I have to block people, it's because I'm this queen of cups. It's because I'm giving, nurturing, generous, and they're just being evil to me. If you block me, it's probably because I said some real shit or I don't know. I don't know what someone would block me for. That's what I'm just saying. Like, I'm not, look, I'm not exempt. People can block me, but if you block me, just forget that I exist because uh, you don't need to come back around. So that's just me, but like I said, pile three, this person could have you blocked. Some of you have this person blocked though. So the reason why I'm saying this is and why they're driving this home is that this person with the seven of swords, I usually, 
I don't always read the Seven of Swords as stealth or um, strategizing, right? Who really reads the Seven of Swords like that? But the, the thing that people don't know is the Seven of Swords is one of the highest minor arcana cards. It's a very high ranking card and it's an Aquarian energy. So this person is going to try to figure out how they can manifest this Ten of Cups with you. Um, they have a couple different reasons why they're in the Seven of Swords energy. One is you have them blocked. So they have to figure out how to get around that block. They figure they have to figure out how to be able to contact you without scaring you off and, and coming off like a psychopath or a creeper, right? If this person's a Capricorn though, they they really they'll get over it. They have no hangups. Capricorns have no hangups about being having toxic traits we'll just say that they they totally embrace that if you deal with a more mature capricorn right um but you could be dealing with a taurus or virgo for sure but um and an aquarian just showed up as well but also they have a third party that they this third party might be like a queen of cups as well or this third party seems to be someone that your person doesn't want to piss off again i was getting that in early today's earlier reading but yeah um they have may have children. This person might already have a child with someone else. So they're trying to figure out how to manifest a relationship with their child and you. Maybe some of you guys already have children as well. It could be like a blended family situation. So I'd almost feel like this person, I'm not, I hate to say this, but they're sneaking away from a third party to have a relationship with you. They're trying to figure out how to do that. Um, I'm not saying that this is the best way. I'm just telling you what this person's thinking and what's going to happen in this connection. What I see from all this, you know, manifestation, all this thinking that this person's doing. Um, just to let you know what they're up to. Like maybe some of you guys think it's over with this person. I just heard dead, dead and gone in my head by Justin Timberlake. Um, some of you, this is definitely a January baby. But um, yeah, maybe this person... Um, you thought it was over with them, but no, they're still plotting. This person is still trying to manifest this Ten of Cups with you, okay? They cannot they, they cannot handle losing you. Nine of Swords, they see you moving on with the Ace of Cups. I really feel like this person feels like you're a new love, and they feel like it's, it's now or never. Some of you, this person might feel like they have to steal you from someone. They, might, they have to be resourceful, stealthy. They have to figure out how to get you back with this Ten of Cups. I wasn't expecting the Ten of Cups to be there, but it is. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Pile 3. That's the person who can't stop thinking about you. I know this resonates for me. I am Pile 3 always. <laughs> um, so I hope that this did give you guys some sort of messages, but we are going to go into uh, what your next conversation is going to be with this person. All right. Um, for some of you, this, okay, I just want to name another thing. For some of you, this person might be a single person. And they're think I I'm really strongly getting that this person thinks you're moving on to someone else or there's someone else in your life. OK, so they might feel like they have to win. For some reason, this person, the way that they love, I, I want to leave this message. I know I just added on something else. The way that they they love is not like trying to have the upper hand, but this person always feels like they have to like be Rico Suave or they have to like finesse. Like this is a finesser. This is somebody who always thinks that they have to be on like mentally uh, agile or mentally like they have to win you over they have to keep you this is and I and I honestly I know it sounds negative but you know I don't really read y'all comments especially like the negative people I don't read your negative comments like I, re I read the positive ones but like I'm saying this to say that it makes me this person respects you even though they're low vibe low vibe in some ways they feel like it's not going to be easy to win you. They have to they have to do the most to get you mentally. It's not about just their physical attributes. Like you're someone that has to be kept and not in like, oh, a pretty princess kept type of way. Like they have to work every day to keep you. They need to mentally stimulate you. They need to keep their body right. They need to make sure that they're taking on the trips that you want to go on. This is someone who feels like it is a job to keep you happy which in a marriage it is, you know what I'm saying? It's both, it goes from both sides. And that's what this person is looking to. This is definitely someone who wants to please you. Okay. And I feel like this person feels like they owe you because you were such a healing energy to them. So I hope I didn't sabotage this reading pile three, but that's what I got for you. So hopefully you'll check me in the other pick a card if I didn't scare you off and I'll see you later. Please comment and let me know what you guys think. Okay. Bye.